All right, now everybody just calm down, relax, calm down. Triple G, Golovkin has split from Abel Sanchez, but wait, there's more. Abel Sanchez claps back. What up, fight world? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang gang. Notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chat channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working now. This is breaking news. I already did a video about it, and I want to give you guys an update. It was announced that Golovkin is no longer working with longtime trainer Abel Sanchez. Everybody's talking about it. You know, it's probably the biggest news in boxing today. As you guys can see, Kevin Aioli of Yahoo Sports says Gennady Golovkin splits with longtime trainer Abel Sanchez in a dispute over money. Now, he talked to Abel Sanchez as well. And let's go over Yahoo Sports. Link in the description to their article. One of the most successful fighter trainer combinations of the 21st century is no more. Middleweight former champion Gennady Golovkin parted ways with longtime trainer Abel Sanchez. Wednesday in a dispute over money, Golovkin, who has a fight against Steve Rolls June 8th in New York, lavished Sanchez with praise in a statement announced, announcing the change. Golovkin did not identify his new trainer, so at the moment we do not know who Triple G will use. In a statement provided to Yahoo Sports, Sanchez referred, he referenced, quote, an insulting trainer compensation schedule that Triple G offered him. Golovkin hired Sanchez April 10th to train him. First fight together, they knocked out Milton Nunez in the first round. You know, Golovkin's statement read, I would like to announce that I have made a major decision for myself for my career. I want to build on what I've already achieved and continue to better myself therefore i will not be training with abel sanchez this was not an easy decision for me and it is not a reflection of abel's professional abilities he is a great trainer loyal trainer and a hall of fame trainer i will be announcing my new trainer at a later date but today i want to thank abel for the lessons he taught me in boxing but it gets more intriguing so it looked kind of at least from golovkin's post fairly um amicable but as you guys see, Yahoo Sports reached out to Abel and he, he let the world know that, you know, there's more going on over here. But wait, there's more. Says Abel Sanchez blast greedy Golovkin. Sanchez clearly was unhappy with the way the partnership ended. He attended a news conference in Los Angeles to announce Golovkin's deal with the zone, at which point Golovkin told Yahoo Sports that he anticipated Sanchez would remain his trainer. Sanchez, though, did not appear at either stop for Golovkin's New York, Los Angeles media appearances to promote the fight with Rose. And I did notice that, you know, I didn't watch the whole press conference, but I was like thinking like, where's Abel Sanchez? Now we find out. Sanchez's statement in full. It says, FYI, as of today, I will no longer be working with Gennady Golovkin. After a great nine year run, record set and equal, developing a Hall of Fame career and making it possible to sign a six fight, $100 million contract with DAZN, he proposed and insisted on an insulting new trainer compensation schedule. My dignity and honor does not allow me to be screwed like that. It's unfortunate being greedy, being ungrateful, and no ethics, honor, or integrity will end this relationship. Wow. So, you know, according to Abel Sanchez, he says that Golovkin tried to rip him off. Now, I don't know. You know, I can't tell you what this is. Again, he says, it's unfortunate being greedy, being ungrateful, and no ethics, honor, or integrity. Those are strong words and accusations from former trainer Abel Sanchez. Again, this is not my business. It's not my relationship beyond the scenes. I don't know what went on. Now, Mike Coppinger of Ring TV, he also reached out and I think spoke with Abel Sanchez. And this is what he put. So I'm just trying to give you guys everything consolidated. Shout out to Mike Coppinger. Spoke to Abel Sanchez regarding his split from Triple G. Sanchez and Golovkin offered him one fifth what he has been what he was being paid for and this comes after Golovkin signed a lucrative contract with the zone as always there's no loyalty in boxing quotes below he says this is all based on money 
it's unfortunate. He offered one fifth as much as before. He just signed a hundred million dollar contract. Contracts like that create greed. Nine years got to this point. I think I did my part, not only promotion, but training and everything else. It really blindsided me. It hit me hard. I didn't expect it from this kid. Sanchez said that he and Golovkin were going back and forth for a month and a half following the initial low ball offer. I was insulted. Ooh. This morning, Triple G drove up to Big Bear to pick up his stuff and informed Sanchez he was going in a different direction. Wow. This shit is like a telenovela. Novelas. Soap opera. Quote, Greed unfortunately clouded the way, said Sanchez. Damn. I honestly felt he was a different kind of person. This stems from some bad advice. Sanchez still trains many young fighters and said Triple G's departure will open up an opportunity to fully commit himself to training another elite fighter at Big Bear. Wow. So, I will source out Mike Coppinger, Ring TV, or um, Yahoo Sports in the description so check out and make sure you guys give them the view too because they're the ones that had the the direct um info and intel and, and conversation with abel crazy crazy stuff now shout out to you guys for writing with me new media you know this is this is a lot to unpack we unpack we unpack coming to you live boxing ego unpack you know it's it's hard for me because i'm an outsider looking in i don't really know what went on i don't know who said what who did what you have basically triple g who's making it sound like you know no hard feelings and then abel sanchez coming out saying nah he was trying to trying to jerk me he was trying to like screw me over and this is the same thing we see in boxing if this is true what abel sanchez is saying this is the same thing we see in boxing whereas you'll have a fighter who gets offered a fight but he gets offered something that is insulting and like dangerously low so you know they're going to refuse it or have a problem or they're going to be foolish enough to continue um and train you or take the fight or whatever the situation is for that low wage you know because according to abel sanchez he's saying that this is um one he's getting one fifth of what he was getting before and that if that is true that is a bit weird why would you know why would good love can get a lucrative hundred million dollar deal from the zone and he's fighting for more money doesn't have to worry about the the headache like the zone keeps saying they don't have to worry about the headache of pay-per-view and then if that's true you're going to offer abel sanchez less than he was getting before when, when it was sometimes contingent on pay-per-view and you know crazy i don't know i think golovkin's wife or something is his manager i'm not sure um it looks like he's still working with tom loffler he was at the the press store so I don't know. I don't know who Golovkin is going to be working with. And it's weird. It, it, it looks like like I know women and I know sometimes women have told me about guys that have liked them or, you know, guys they date and it, it's not really going anywhere. and They don't like it. So they'll try to let the person down gently. So this could have been that for Triple G, because I can imagine whoever, if he goes with the, you know, res respectable name trainer or something like that, they're not going to take slave wages either. So it sounds like he wanted out, like, you know, for whatever reason, it sounds like he, he was looking for, you know, a way out. And this could be him letting him down gently because I don't see how you would get more money and then pay your team less. Like, let's say Drake and his producer, 40, OVO 40, right? When they were in Canada, you know, putting together mixtapes and stuff. And let's say he gave slid some money to OVO 40 and that's his people. As, of course when Drake's winning Grammys and you know putting out platinum albums and setting streaming records Kiki do you love me are you right you know all this stuff I, I would imagine OVO 40 is making more money than before so you know it seems like maybe Golovkin was trying to let him down easy I don't know like it's kind of hard from the outside looking in but a lot of weird stuff going on with Golovkin we were hearing rumors that Tom Loeffler was no longer going to be his promoter you know, and, and like advisor or whatever. And then now it was Abel that got got the axe. You know what I'm saying? Then he's fighting Steve Rolls. You know, maybe the money did change Golovkin. We don't really know, you know. 
he's saying some crazy stuff. I know that because he said nobody wants to fight me. So maybe this is, you know, Golovkin. He's just he's trying to cash out and get the money, you know. But Abel is not necessarily innocent in all this either because I've told you, new media. Abel Sanchez put Golovkin in some precarious positions by saying a lot of stuff on behalf of the team. And we did. We, and I always told you this. Remember, new media. I always told you this. Let me hear Golovkin say some of this stuff. He was saying Canelo's this and that, and we don't want Canelo to wear these gloves and black fighters fighting a style that's unpleasing to the fans. And I never heard Golovkin say any of those things. So, you know, it could have been a multitude of things like that, too. Because Abel did do a lot of interviews and talking about Charlo fights and who he wasn't going to fight and Edislandi a lot of fights. And some of the contradictory stuff that Abel was saying on behalf of the team and behalf of Triple G, it put Triple G in a bad spot because, you know, he's talking about um, we shouldn't fight Edison Lada. It makes no sense. And this, that, and the third. And you're willing to fight Steve Rolls, though. You know, why should we fight Charlo? Who is he? We're not listening to sanctioning bodies. But you're fighting Steve Rolls. So, you know, a lot of what Abel, Abel cashed a lot of checks, you know, under the team's name. And I don't know if, if Golovkin wanted those statements made because I never heard some of the same stuff. I never heard Golovkin say anything about black fighters fighting an unpleasing style. So, you know, it's crazy. You know, money, money can get in the way and change things and change people, change situations, especially when you get more. And this could be one of the downsides to the zone. They're throwing out all this money. People are hearing about it and seeing it. And, you know, relationships are strained because of it, because they're throwing out crazy amounts of money to the point where, you know, maybe he's just like, man, I don't even need a trainer. You know, who knows? So I'd be anxious to hear Golovkin. He probably won't say nothing, but if he has any kind of rebuttals. But Abel Sanchez says Golovkin try to jip him and give him um, a fifth of what he was getting before, which... You know, he does have a point if that's the case. But like I said, I don't know the details. Maybe there's more to it. Maybe look, he look happy. He look like he getting a bag. <laughs> he looking at John Skipper like, hey, no, hey, Skipper, thanks for the money. You know, so I don't know. We'll have to see everyone's next move. But definitely another L for Abel Sanchez because he lost his his fighters were losing. You know, a bunch of fights and different things like that and then now he lost joe joyce and then two weeks later a week later he loses his prized pupil you know it's like freddie roach and pacquiao or something they're they're a long-standing duo everyone knows them for it together you know and the other thing is and there's so many different angles people smash the like button if you're new to the channel consider subscribing but smash the like button we out here working hard other thing is sometimes fighters when they lose, that's what sends them into a frenzy. Because we've seen this, especially with a lot of the foreign fighters that have recently won. They don't like losing to the point where they switch train. Look at Kovalev. Kovalev, out of Russia, he lost to Andre Ward, blamed on John David Jackson. Then he got stopped by Andre Ward. You know. Oh, actually, was John David Jackson in the second fight? No, he switched trainers. Yeah. And he left John David Jackson, kind of blamed him. And then, you know, he lost again to Leader Alvarez. And now he's with Buddy McGirt. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like some people, maybe it's the loss. You know, some people play the blame game. Like, damn, I didn't look too good versus Canelo. I'm not learning enough with this guy. You know, so there's, there's multiple angles. Unless they say more or, you know, we get more interviews and details. I'm just going to leave it at that. Wish the best to both people. And, you know, we'll see what's next. But Abel said he... It didn't look like it ended, like, amicably, you know. Abel feels he got screwed over, and he's like, nah, I'm not having that. I'm not going with that. you making all this money, and I helped you on this journey. You know, I helped you on this journey. Crazy. Crazy news in boxing, people. Make sure you smash the like button. Let me know what you guys think. Um, but that's, uh, damn, I would be mad if I was Abel, though, to be honest, because, like, Dazone paying all this money and what if they do a Canelo Triple G3 you know you know if you're the trainer you're gonna get you know 8-10% or better and you just out of all that money I'll be hot you know 
especially when I feel like I helped get to that point. But, you know, two, three sides to every story. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe to next video's ego. Sign off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.